Movie Buffs, welcome back to the Movie Bay. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at all the movies in my collection starring Vera Farmiga. So without further ado, let's dive in and take a look at some, fil star uh, some films starring Vera Farmiga. So let's start with Paul Walker's Running Scared. This is a really good movie. And this, to me, this is one of Paul Walker's best. I really did enjoy this movie. This is a non-stop cat and mouse uh, race. Really good movie. We have Robert De Niro and Edward Burns in 15 minutes. Now, for those of you who don't know, Vera Farmiga, she is a, a big supporting actor, but she also she's a big supporting actress, co-star. She's not really a, a, a lead, but she's very strong supporting actress. Orphan. Now, this is a rental copy. I got this from Hollywood Video. I still got the original receipt in, in here from Hollywood Video. I'm telling you, a lot of these DVDs I got in my collection, they, they, I've had them for, some of these I've had for, I'm guessing about 20 years. That's Orphan. Then she was in The Departed. Great, great movie. The Departed is a really, really, really strong movie with a great cast and a great story, great writing, everything. Safe House. Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Captain State. This movie was a really good underrated movie. This movie kind of flew under the radar, but it was a pretty decent watch. I got to admit, this was a decent movie. Now, Vera is really strong in this franchise. She's really strong in the Conjuring universe, particularly the first three Conjuring films. And she was in, you'll see, you'll see. So we have the last Annabelle movie, which I thought was just okay. I still like the second Annabelle, the best out of the three Annabelles. I think that was Annabelle creation. This is Annabelle comes home. This one was okay. This is probably second best. You know what? This might even be third best. Cause I think, yeah. Annabelle comes home. Either way, she plays um, Mrs. Warren in the movie. The Warrens, they are basically supernatural investigators. This is another movie from the Conjuring Universe. This is The Nun. This is one of the weaker movies in the Conjuring Universe. This is probably, this is one of the weaker movies. I actually prefer this over, um, wait a minute, no, that's the Insidious, that's different. No, so yeah, this is definitely one of the weaker ones in the Conjuring Universe. And probably the, the weakest in the entire Conjuring universe. And it's a shame because this actually has the Conjuring name on it. And that is The Conjuring 3, The Devil Made Me Do It. This movie is really, really weak. I was surprised that this movie was as weak as it turned out. Considering we coming off probably one of the, the probably, in my opinion, the best one in the Conjuring universe. And that is The Conjuring 2. Yes, The Conjuring 2. And then another banger from the Conjuring universe again. The Conjuring, the first one, the one that started it all. This is the one that kickstarted the entire Conjuring universe. Banging movie. And Vera, she did her thing in that movie. She really did. And all in all she did her thing in all the Conjuring movies. I'm not saying her performances was weak. Some of the movies was better than others, but her performances was spot on. The Many Saints of Newark. A lot of people had things to say about this, but I watched it and I thought it was pretty good. But I'm a Sopranos fan, so I enjoyed it. Liam Neeson in The Commuter. Very difficult movie. Great movie, though. Very, very difficult, though. The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. A movie that I really enjoyed. I enjoyed the hell out of this one. The Judge. Source code. And let's see, she was in. I want to make sure I got the right one that she was in because she wasn't in this one. She was, it's two movies here. She was in Return to Paradise. So let's recap everything starring Vera Famiga. Uh, Return to Paradise. Source code with Jake Gyllenhaal. The Judge with 
Robert Downey Jr. and Robert Duvall, really good movie. This didn't make it into my video I did on courtroom dramas, which it should have. It was just an oversight. The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. The Commuter. The Many Saints of Newark. The Conjuring. The Conjuring 2. The Conjuring 3, The Devil Made Me Do It. The Nun. Annabelle Comes Home. Captive State. That's a good movie. Very, very slept on movie, but a good movie. Godzilla, King of the Monsters. All the Godzilla movies for the most part are good. You know what you're getting with a Godzilla movie. Safe House. This was all right. The Departed. Orphan. 15 Minutes. Running Scared. You need to check this one out. If you've never seen this movie or you don't have this in your collection, my fellow collectors, you need to check this one out. You need to jump on this. I need to upgrade this to a blue. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.